The key challenge facing the world at the moment in terms of healthcare is the lack of healthcare that's available for the majority of the people on the planet. Three reasons for this is one is we just don't have enough fully trained healthcare professionals in the world in order to be able to, to manage people with health conditions. Secondly, we have a problem with increasing healthcare costs. The cost of healthcare services, the health cost of drugs and the cost of uh, technologies and devices is just increasing beyond many people's reach. A third issue that's a big challenge is the fact that as the world demography changes, we're seeing an increase in the numbers of people with chronic disease. Many health care systems are designed to treat um, infections, acute care conditions, but chronic disease requires ongoing chronic care and we don't have the health systems that will enable us to treat those conditions. I think one of the key things that we're focusing on is the use of mobile health technologies and mobile health technologies that can address each of those challenges that I'm talking about. Mobile health technologies enable us to work with lower level trained healthcare workers um, to fill the gap with in, in the absence of um, specialist healthcare workers. So for example, if we work with lower level trained healthcare workers, provide them with mobile technologies that enable them to identify people who are at high risk of disease, to manage individuals at high risk of disease, and as part of that mobile technology, to diagnose um, point of care diagnostics that can be used to diagnose people at high risk of disease. And the focus on mobile technologies is one that we see is a major part of the solution. So for example, looking at how do we train lower level healthcare workers to uh, um, diagnose, to treat, manage individuals is a major focus of what we're doing. In particular, we've got a large program of work in, in rural India where we are training the village healthcare workers using um, mobile technologies um, to follow through electronic, firstly diagnose people who are at high risk of chronic disease and then follow um, clinical algorithms of care which will enable them to say how best to treat these individuals and then to refer individuals who require more complicated care. So that's a major program of work that we're undertaking at the moment. Um, a second focus of that work is looking at how do we um, work with patients um, in the UK um, to ensure that they can manage their disease outside the hospital system. So working with patients with heart failure to look at how that they can manage, monitor their condition outside of hospital, and then if they need care, then go into hospital. Um, a third area that we're focusing on is developing um, applications that would enable consumers to make healthy choices when they're purchasing food. So we've developed a, a, an app that would enable patients to, not patients, sorry, an app that would enable consumers to go into the supermarket, identify using barcodes products that, for example, um, looking at the salt content of food, look at that salt content um, and then identify products that are, that are alternative products that are lower in salt, for example. So in all of those ways, those are specific applications that we're developing, the applications that we're also evaluating to make sure that they do make a difference.